What's up everybody, it is waterdog 5 here, and uh, today I've got another commentary for you. I know it's been a while since I've, I've done a video, but uh, I've been really busy lately, so I'd like to do videos more often, but I'm just trying to find the time to, but I finally did today. And what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about the Battlefield 4 CTE servers for the PC. Now, I realize that they don't have these on console, and this Xbox, I mean, the, bleh, this gameplay is on Xbox, but um assume you're getting a PC, so I don't know what it's like. So basically my opinion on it is I think it's a great addition to the game and I think they should have done this before the actual game came out. I mean, I want to be completely honest, if Battlefield 4 had came out like six months later, I would have been a little bit angry, but now that I know what it's like on such a lag, on such a horrible start to, to a game release, I'd be completely fine with that. So. I'm going to give my opinion on it, and um, well, mainly what I'm going to talk about is um, Rush and Obliteration. Rush and Obliteration are like two game modes that probably need fix the most. And what I mean by fix the most is some of the Rush, like the spawns of like the MCOM stations, it's just like some of them are so impossible to get for attackers. Like if you're playing Rush in Battlefield 4, you want to be the defending team. Like in Battlefield 3 it was pretty balanced, and in Bad Company 2 it was the main game mode for the entire game. And I think that was really nice, and losing Rush, like Battlefield 4 Rush, is almost unplayable now. So, uh, moving on to Obliteration. Obliteration's an, an amazing game, in my opinion, but yet again, there's some a couple of game mechanics that just need to be fixed, and I've heard about, about fixing them. Like, the guy with the bomb, like, right now on Xbox, he's always present on the minimap. Like, you can always see him. He'll always have that one reticle on the lower left-hand side of your screen, as it is now, and you see it moves up. And now I can see it's red or orange, what am I talking about? And it's just not very good. It's not a good gameplay mechanic. Now what I would, what I hope they do eventually is like have it blink once every 10 seconds so like you can at least know where he is. And that way it becomes like a, I don't know, it just becomes more balanced. If you're the, if you're the bomb carrier in some of these maps, it's like you're dead. It's like there's nothing you can do. If you don't pick up the bomb, like, like you know, five feet away from the objective, then you're screwed. And uh, another thing, let's move back to Rush, is some of the vehicle placements on Rush are god-awful. Like, on um, this one map, I forget what it's called, it's the one map with all the parkour in it, like, um, I want to say, oh my god, I can't even remember it, but there's this one map where, I can't, but Flood Zone, that's what it is. So, I'm like, Flood Zone is like a horrible map for Rush, and you'll actually see some gameplay of it in a minute here, but... It, for whatever reason, it just doesn't, like, they put an anti-air gun, and it spawns on top of the highway. And if you've, anybody's ever been in a helicopter on that map when the, air, when the AA gun's still alive, it is awful. Like, it will literally just spawn kill you in three and a half seconds. So I think one thing they need to do for Rush is just make it so that there are none of those crazy moments where all you do is just get is spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die. Like, attacking on Rush... Is just is just a huge imbalance, so I feel like they need to like get rid of some of the vehicles. I mean, why you would want an anti-air gun in Rush, anyways, is beyond me. But yeah, so in a few seconds here, we're gonna move on to some uh, Rush gameplay. You see what I'm talking about, or maybe not. I don't remember. <laughs> so right now, as you see, I'm just dominating in this um, AHJ6 Little Bird, which. If anybody remembers at the start of this game, this 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 helicopter was just completely broken. Like, and it, I don't think it's overpowered now. I just feel like it makes the uh, attack choppers in the game look ridiculously underpowered. So I still don't understand why they can't fix attack choppers. Like, how hard is it to make like the rockets, you know, just do more damage? I mean, like in BF3 when people were talking about, oh, it's imbalanced to do this the attack chopper. It's just overpowered as all heck. Well, it, it is an attack chopper, if anybody remembers. So, you know, it's supposed to be that giant, powerful thing in the sky. If you want to add any realism, having a, a vehicle that's overpowered, you know what I mean, but not game-breaking. I didn't think the attack choppers in BF3 were game-breaking at all. I know the AA guns in BF4 are game-breaking, so... So, I will be, I'll soon be on the BF4 CT, and I'll uh, give you some more uh, fixes on that, and tell you what's being updated. And, um... Another thing I wanted to say is that um, I actually will be playing on PC very soon, so I hope you guys will see me on that if you play on PC. And um, that's going to wrap up the commentary. I'll see you guys later.
Take care.